In July 2006, a series of earthquake tests on a three-story SOFI building were carried out at the laboratories of the NIED in Tsukuba with surprising results. Cross-slam structures are particularly suited for use in regions with a high seismic hazard. This is due to both material properties, such as lightness and load-bearing capacity, and to system properties, such as ductility and capacity for energy dissipation. We are built in Tsukuba, Japan, at NID premises on the second larger, largest uh, shaking table in the world, a uh, three-story Sophie house. And uh, we have given in a row uh, at least uh, 14 quakes, a very high level of uh, peak ground acceleration. We had given Nocera Umbra, El Centro, and Kobe, particularly Kobe from 1995 was a very strong one, 7.2 Richter scale. So it's, uh, during this week, uh, a lot of people died at the time. But our structure survived very well. After the test, it was still standing, very vertical line. So no big damages. So in the real life, a, like, a house like this could be easily repaired. And uh, we can enter again after the quake with no problems. The NIED has already collaborated with different earthquake research institutes from the United States, but this is the first experience with an Italian institute, and we expect great results. Japan is a country with a very high seismic hazard. As everybody knows, there was a major earthquake in Kobe in 1995. Many houses and bigger buildings were destroyed, and over 6,000 people died. Since then, and in accordance with the policy of the Japanese government, the NIED has completed a full-scale shaking table testing facility called E-Defense. It is the first full-scale three-dimensional shaking table in the world. I do hope that the Italian project on this shaking table leads to progress in anti-seismic research.